Well, for more on this, I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Dr. Bharat Pankania. He's from Bath in the UK. He's a senior clinical lecturer at the University of Exeter Medical School. Great to see you again, Dr. Bharat. Just tell me, a game changer, what's your reading of this? Uh, it's a good, positive outcome. But uh, people like to use uh, big words like game changer, and we must be very cautious. The cautious bit is in 2025, they are going to have a bigger trial. And I would like to see a larger trial with more patients uh, in that trial to see how well this drug, which is a monoclonal antibody, works. Of course, it is in the right direction, but we need to do a bigger trial. And tell me, doctor, th the way they're phrasing this, a higher dose at the point of the attack happening, I mean, how, how possible is this? Because asthma attacks happen in a, in a second and they can be devastating. Yes, indeed. So what we would have to do is also identify the people who are most likely to benefit from this, what it is, a monoclonal antibody. Let me explain. So some of these um, flare-ups of asthma and chronic obstructive airways disease are due to specific white blood cells, which are called eosinophils. And these eosinophils are often created in large numbers when there is a response to, for example, pollutants, an allergic response or an adverse reaction to pollutants. And then what you do is these monoclonal antibodies wipe those uh, eosinophils, those specific white blood cells, uh, out and therefore stop or prevent that asthma attack or that COPD. The issue is the people would need to know who they are. Are they the eosinophilic ones? And if so, uh, they would perhaps be given an injection that they held with themselves, kept with themselves like EpiPens, and then used it. And it is all these things that we need to iron out if it is going to work uh, with a bigger trial. And Dr. Pankania, how long do you think it will be before this is rolled out on a, on a wider scale to help people? Well, if it works, then the, 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 the science is there. We know how to make these monoclonal antibodies and it has been tested. It can be very quick. However, what I want to say is, look, the signals are very clear that a lot of people die, and a lot of people die because of poor air quality and pollution. So whilst we salute the improvement in management of this asthma and chronic obstructive airways disease, we must not take our eye off the ball, which is reduce global air pollution. We have a lot of global air pollution, which causes a lot of ill health and death. Dr. Bharat Pankani, alive for us in Bath in England. Thank you so much for your insight on this. You're welcome. Thank you.